Hi, this is Matt with AppliancePartsPros.com. Today we'll be showing you how to repair your appliance. Remember, anytime you work on an appliance, make sure it's unplugged or the circuit breakers are off so there's no chance of electrocution. In this video, we're going to show you how to change out the Progeria dishwasher control board. It's going to be a very easy repair and it's only take a few minutes to show you how to do it. If you already have one of these, great. If not, you can click on the link below or get it at AppliancePartsPros.com. When you open up the package, you're going to get the new control board. The control board controls the functions of the dishwasher. The main reason you be changing it out is if you have an error code saying that it's bad or the dishwasher is not going through the cycles properly. In order to change the part, we have to open up the dishwasher door. Now that we have the door open, we're going to use a Phillips screwdriver to take out the two bottom screws. Once you have the screws out, we can close the door. Once you have the door closed, this can push down on a little bit and pull the top out and then lift it off and set it aside. Now that we have the front panel off, we're going to open up the door again. Not all the way, we're just going to open it up far enough so we can use the Phillips screwdriver to take out the screws to hold the console on. As you're taking the last screw out, you want to make sure you hold on to the control panel so it doesn't fall. Once you have the screws out, we're going to carefully let the door close a little bit. Then we can lower the control panel down and support it while we take the board out. First, we're going to take this cover off. There's a screw on each end. We're going to use the Phillips screwdriver to take out the screws. Once you have the screws out, we can lift the cover off. You have to lift this tab out from here, and then we have to take this grommet with the wires out on the back side. Once you have it released, you can set the cover aside. Now that we have the cover off, we're going to take all the wires off the electronic control board. We're going to start over on this end, get the red on the top and the black on the bottom. If you have to, you can use a small flathead screwdriver to help take them off. We can unplug the wiring harnesses. There's no locking tabs on these. All you have to do is pull them off. Then we can take off the two cables coming from the touchpad. On this one, all you have to do is unplug it. And on this style, you may have a locking collar that you may have to pull up to unlock the ribbon cable. If you don't have that, then you can just pull the ribbon cable out. Once you have it unplugged, we can use the Phillips screwdriver to take out the screws that hold the electronic control board to the control panel. Once you have the screws out, you can separate the electronic control board from the control panel and set the control panel aside. Here's the old electronic control board next to the new one. If you already have one of these, great. If not, you can get it at AppliancePartsPros.com. To put the new electronic control board in, all you have to do is set it into place on the control panel. Once you have it in, you can use the Phillips screwdriver to put in the screws to hold it down. Once you have the screws tightened down, you can reattach all the cables. On this harness, if you have the style that we have, all you have to do is plug it in. If you have the open-ended ribbon cable, you have to push it in and then push the locking collar down. Then we can do the other ribbon cable. We can put the two individual wires on. Remember you had the black on the bottom and the red on the top. All you have to do is push them down so you get a good connection. Once you have all the wires on, you can put the cover back on. To put it on, we're just going to line up the grommet and slide it into the cover. And then you can get the front tab underneath. Once you have it on, you can push it down. And then we can use the Phillips screwdriver to put in the screws to hold it on. Once 
So we can open up the door a little bit and lift the control panel assembly up and get it onto the door. Once you have it in place, you can open up the door and use a Phillips screwdriver to put in the screws. When you're putting the screws in, you want to make sure the long ones go across the top. Then you want to use the two shorter screws that hold the bottom of the control panel on. Once you have the control panel mounted, we can close the door so we can put the outer panel on. We're going to set it on. We're going to make sure that the lip here on the door goes onto the frame right here on each side. Once you have it on, then you can push the door panel in. We can lift up on it so it goes underneath the control panel and locks into place. We can open up the door, hold the panel in place. We can use the Phillips screwdriver to put in the screws to hold it on. Once you have the screws in, we close the dishwasher door. Plug it back in and take it for a spin. Thanks for joining us for another successful repair brought to you by appliancepartspros.com. Check out our other repair videos on our site, Facebook, and YouTube.